Hi everyone. <laughs> Come out for a drive, a little drive, a little outing today. And the sun is just setting behind me. And I'm at Chew Valley Lake. And I've had a lovely walk in the woods. There's some beautiful, beautiful woods not far from um, not far from Glastonbury, up on the um, up on the Mendip Hills, and now I'm at Chew Valley Lake after the lo lovely walk. I thought I would just drive over here and show you the lake. So yeah, it's amazing. I think it's actually uh, unfortunately these bars are in the way. It's actually a reservoir, and we have lots of birds. And the birds have been going really, um, really amazing. They've been flying around and screeching. And of course, just because I now chose to do the video, a lot of them have gone away. But they've been so much fun to watch. Oh, let's see this one. Yeah. There's all sorts of birds here. There are terns. Uh, there have been some seagulls, swans. Um, ducks, mallards, there's one over there, and there's little wagtails. Uh, it's kind of uh, ironic, really, that the sky was absolutely full of dancing, shrieking turns and uh, things just a moment ago, and now they've all vanished. Maybe they're camera shy, and there's some. Um, some mallards over there. So I really felt to come out and to get some fresh air because I, it seems like I've been inside for days on end and it's been way too cold to come out. So I just wanted to come out and enjoy some nature because there's so much, um, so many interesting turns going on, turns, no pun meant it. So yeah, there's been so much going on, so much intensity, and it's really good to take some time out and uh, be in nature and, and just to restore the nervous system, just to calm your body and to restore your nervous system and to get a sense of peace again, isn't it? So um, some little magpie, little, let me see, can I share them to you? I don't know if you can see that, some little wagtails just down by the water's edge down there. Look, let me show. Oh, it's so hard to show you. Oh, some right here. So. I've just been sitting watching the birds and thinking how amazing they are watching their wings, watching how clever they are at swooping and swirling and dancing around. It's like how on earth do they, how do they manage to do that? It's really amazing. So all of nature has a gift for us and even when things feel really dire and dark and difficult, if we go out and look we can find a little gift of nature. Uh, unfortunately we've got some cars going past, not my most ideal spot for doing, um, doing a little video but I just wanted to share with you this moment and if you get a chance. So this, um, this is the road between Wells and Bristol, the Chew Valley Lake and it's a huge area. People come here for resourcing themselves for, uh, I don't know if they can sail on it, I think they can, and for bird watching and picnics and things. So it's a good place to come. There's lots of people out and about, lots of people taking the time. And I had a lovely conversation with some, uh, a man and his daughter walking through the woods and some other children. It's beautiful to watch families and um, families with little children running around. And they're so delightful, aren't they? Little, little children jumping around, playing and just like, just spontaneous and happy and not weighted down with all the, the troubles of the world like some of us are. So 
um, except for those children that are suffering with the kind of restrictions and things. So we have to take care of our children. We have to really, really take care of them because they are the next generation and the next generations to come. So it's important to do that, to really honour and care for the children. The Native Americans say, do nothing that will harm the children. So, the birds seem to be coming back a bit and are being a bit noisier. There's a mallard over there um, making that noise. I don't know if you can see. So they're all up the other end. So uh, They were here where I parked the car previously. I thought I'd sit here and then show you all the flocks of birds. I'm sure if I was to throw some bread out or something for them, they would come back. So, um, Jean. Hi, Jean. Hi. Hi. So, yeah, Friday fun day. Like, the weeks keep rolling by, and we have to keep resourcing ourselves, because the, the worst thing is that we're all under tremendous stress, and, like, even if we're not personally stressed in our lives, we are in some way, because we're connected with families that are stressed, and very, very stressful information coming through all the time. And that stress takes a big toll on the body. When we're stressed, we get dehydrated. Um, our immune system stops working, so we're way more likely to get ill if we're stressed. Our digestion stops, so we could have digestive problems. Our sleep patterns are disrupted. So it's like a cascade of things that happen when we're stressed. So the remedies in, in our own hands, we can we can take time out in some way to lower the stress, even if it's walking around the block or something. And we can make sure that we go to bed before midnight, and we can make sure that we take lots of vitamin C and, and magnesium, which really helps the nervous system to calm down, and zinc, and um, yeah, what else? Good good oils, good quality oils good organic vegetables, which is why I like to grow my own food. I know there's no uh, pesticides in them. And to, to connect with people, to connect with our loved ones, because our immune system is affected when we're disconnected from people. Because we need to have that connection with other people to feel safe. All the birds are coming closer now, so I'm just going to show you again. Oh yeah, there they are all coming down this end. Lots of them. I just wonder where they vanish to. One minute they're here and then they all seem to disappear. And then they come back again. There are lots of swans here until the terns arrived and started shrieking. I think that frightened the, the swans off. So let's just sit for a moment and, and just like share a moment together by this water. I know that the cars are going by. I know there's that kind of background noise, but let's just sit and just feel some peace in ourselves for a moment. Just wherever you are, wherever you're listening, just, you know, feeling your feet on the ground, feeling your bottom. Just imagining that you're here somewhere in nature and you're just watching, watching nature. Putting all your worries aside for a moment. Just mentally putting everything just aside. And you don't have to be concerned about it for a moment. Taking a breath and a long out breath, and just allowing in this moment for your body to be heavier and more relaxed, allowing yourself to settle, allowing your heart rate to go down, and feeling your bottom on the seat if you're sitting down or your feet on the ground.
just allowing your shoulders to drop. Allowing your jaw to soften. And just imagining that you're here or some other beautiful place that you like in nature. And just being at peace in this moment, just resting, just relaxing and being at peace. That's the little birds. Oh look, there's some, uh, I don't know if they're moor hens, but the, the, the black ones with the white stripes on their big, oh they're so pretty. So, so pretty. So we are nature. We're just like these birds and we can trust nature. We can trust our bodies and our immune systems and our nervous systems to um, help us be well. We just have to do the right thing. We just have to create the right conditions and our health is here for us. We're designed to be healthy. So thank you for spending a few moments with me. I do hope you have a lovely day. I do hope that so far your day has been good and, and that you can find some joy. I'm keeping an eye out in case some more nice birds come down to show you. Yeah, find some joy for yourself today. Find in focusing on something that's good, that's positive and not looking at the difficult things because you know, human beings are amazing and this is an incredible world. And we have amazing opportunities for um, creating a, a powerful new dynamic at this moment on the